That's another bit of a cleaner. Um, I've taken the uh, out of the green boat I bought. Um, I kept the covers, but they I put them in here for now. But obviously they don't fit. Bit of a gap. Um, but I've got it's a start to what can be finished. So the back boards. The backing boards might be okay, but I'll change them. But um, anyway, I'll change them to a different color, maybe a lighter blue. Um, but um, give us some idea what it's going to look like uh, from that angle with the seating down. Um, like we still, we still got those shelves on the back. But um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put big um, cupboards in there. Uh, it's like shelving to use up the space. Uh, it's like be like drawers and stuff like that to give you more storage space. They're really deep. I see they're they, they are made for their own berths, but they are really deep. Both sides, so they make really big cupboard spaces. Uh, we also got some spaces under the seats as well. You know, deep space the seats as well and also in the front that's not going to be a berth there it's too it's i think it's too small um for a big berth because uh, the toilet is there um so i think i just use it for storage i think in this area here so i do i just put a door on there and now that has as a uh, like a uh, anchor, anchor locker at the front, um, and basically storage, I think, for there. Um, because that is, I think they ain't good, I think it's not good for a berth. Uh, I don't know, it might get one berth, but it's just a waste of space, I think. So I just partition off into two cut into two um, partitions, so it'd be a, um, a partition between there, up on there. And then that'd be another doorway there. And then this side then, it'd be a cloak room. Because that's where they put their wet wet gear in there. It's a cloak room thing there, but why do I put that? I turn it into a, a wet room and cloak room in here. And then uh, that would be the main cabin. Let's see if the engine moved eventually we move probably to the back uh with even the engine at the back there you still get another berth i think and then get a double berth in there um i put the um sails in the back of there and it turns out i got about five uh so six um furlings no main sail i could find and the rest of them with uh, spinnakers. So it's like four, I think four bags of spinnakers and, le and uh, six sails, uh, furlings. But they're back out of the way over there. So that I said the storage will be anyway. Um, but anyway, that, I think the engine's gonna go by there. That's gonna open now that then from there to a bigger, bigger space in the cabin. And then we got the obviously the galley on this side needs a good clean. I will change our cooker, I think. I don't think these are uh, I think it's just too rusty. It probably works, but uh I'll probably end up changing that. And then uh I got space at the back. Store space at the back there and there's a you know clean that up. But basically that's what I'm going to do with them over there, in big storage areas. So there'll be big pockets of uh, storage. But uh, that's the basic idea of what it's looks like. Get a good eye view from it. I know. And it still needs a good clean. Um, all this has got to be cleaned up. I've got some um, dye to go on that and see how that comes up. And then this is going to be sat, uh, just uh, wire wool 
and then revarnish that, revarnish that, and stain it, um, stain and varnish it along there. And the table, you know, there's, there's enough room here to sit on, but this is, I think the engine's still in the way. Um, but the table will come over clean, and uh, yeah, that deep, really deep storage over there, so that needs to be used for shelving, uh, pull out drawers, so you get lots of stock, you know whatever clothing food um, objects whatever just uh, use up the space um, I also got some port lights I'm thinking of putting in um, to give it more light off the other off the green boat so I might put some port lights in maybe at the front I'm not sure where to put them actually but anyway I'll think about it but I might put them on, I might put them at the, at the bow some port lights in it no problem. But yeah, it's getting that. It's getting the story. Uh, put new flooring down. We get some new flooring down on it. Get those covered, recovered a little bit more. Cushion that side and a little bit by there. And otherwise, it's uh, it's coming to it's coming together already. Um, I still haven't cleaned outside yet. It's still a mess. I haven't jet washed that yet. It's still a mess up there. I'm not worried about that at the moment. I just want to try and get inside of this a bit clean. Uh, this is the uh, char table. So some rubbish here, a bit some bobs here. So there's the table, this is the seat there. Some storage underneath. That's storage there. Uh, I'll give you some idea of what's going on yeah. This is storage inside there. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some drawers inside this. Put them out so we're using up all that space. And then you got the uh, fuse box there, which I need to be more fuses in there. That's the old log and speed, uh, wind direction, whatever on that. That's all the old style stuff. So I'll probably end up ripping all that out and putting all new in it. That's the fuse box anyway and uh, speed count. Um, that's not a that's not a TV. That's a, a computer screen they probably use for the, the charts probably. Um, but yeah, so I've got a new VHF ship to shore to put in. It's new in a box. And from this angle, it looks you know, quite spacious from here. Yeah, there's, there's plenty of headroom in there for me. And uh, some carpets down the side here. Some carpet down there. Getting a slowly, a little bit here, a little bit there, all that's up. I uh, wiped down all the surface, all the wood, tin with any um, dust or any off it, ready for the uh, lamp, uh, for the um, vinyl to go on. Because I don't want any dust on it, because it won't take it with any dust on it. So I'll just give it some of this antibacterial kitchen stuff. But any, I think any of you do, it's only like. So I've just done this, I've just done this bit here. Let's get all the rubbish off it. I go with the I go with the ring I wish so you can get the grain pop in. Just a bit of a sweet sponge. Yeah. So clean. The one I done whimsy, uh then we Air bubbles, you didn't see them on camera. Try and saw them. Oh, oh good, I've seen this time. Ah, uh, just to make sure it looks dust on anything, so it takes better. And then just wait, then just wait for it to dry out. Just do that, just to give it 
clean up it looks, looks better as I just cleaned it but uh, I won't put the vinyl on it because uh, it see me the sand you see me on the sand and rubbed down and vans and stains so it's just better put the vinyl on it it looks it looks good um nobody could tell the difference when it's on there so uh just did it as quick and easy as cheap uh can you uh, to sand that down stain it varnish it you the varnish and stain you'd probably look over nearly 50 60 quid for the varnish and stain so you just want to put the vinyl on it uh, the vinyl is, uh, is this here and it's a uh, 27 pound a roll and uh, it do most, I think it should do you know, a good part of this cabin with that so uh, yeah so uh, I'm using that so we'll see how it looks when it's on there we go I've done the um, one bulkhead with the vinyl and I managed to do just a little bit along there you can see the difference between the two and then that little bit that side as well just I like run out of uh, vinyl uh, but all oh, that's really meant there's no bubbles in that at all now so then that bit there that's there run out of vinyl that just there and there so I still got underneath the chairs to do both sides um, and the galley and the chair table and chair. There's still quite a bit to be done, but uh, still kind of you know cleaner, a lot cleaner anyway than it was. And maybe do the backs as well, where they will be storage. So I'll, I'll, I'll do them as well. So. Yeah, a couple more rolls I think, but uh looks a lot better I think. A lot cleaner.